we got the tile all grouted and sealed, so now we can cover it up with all our stuff. Um, I also got this little uh, dresser converted into our bathroom vanity. With our, uh, our surface mount vessel sink that I got on Craigslist for our, a screaming deal. Same deal with the faucet, it was brand new, but the guy didn't understand how it worked. So he sold it for about a quarter of the actual cost. So nice, nice faucet sink. The pop-up drain came with it. So it's a, it's a pretty, pretty nice little setup. And the dresser we were given by uh, some good friends. Um, and I got it all uh, plumbed in to the to the drain and the supply lines are all there. Oh, and I got the angle stops on the on the tub supply, and I got the hole cleaned out from all the from all the different adventures. There was drywall mud and grout and thin set jamming up that hole. That hole goes right down into our cellar and hooks into our um, our drain to our septic. So this is our fourth winter out here, is that right? Mm -hmm. our fourth winter in the woods. Our fourth winter in the woods, um, and uh, it's our first winter with running water. So um, our water procurement in the winter has been um, really labor intensive. So it's a, it's a pretty big deal for us to now just to be able to turn on the tap um, even when it's 15 degrees outside so um, it's it's good to be at this point So can you tell us what it is? Sure. Um, I'm putting a, uh, a little switch on the, uh, on the 12 volt water pump so that I can disconnect it easily. You may or may not remember um, that I put in a 12 volt pump um, uh, well below our concrete floor. Um, and that was quite a long time ago. So the thing that we were really waiting on now in order to um, be able to use the water, because all the, all the plumbing had been done before drywall even happened. So um, the thing that we were waiting on uh, was to be able to power that pump and also power our little water heater. And uh, so this is a little 20 amp switch. The, the um, pump will only pull 10 amps, so I'm safe here. I should probably have a fuse in line at some point, but um, just one of these little panel switches. And I just made a 
switch plate cover. Um, and I just have a nail on box. Um, my wire is stubbing out. After the world's busiest Friday, we're trying to have the world's calmest Saturday. Milo went away for uh, to visit a friend and Nick's tinkering away on our water system and I'm hanging out with Sadie here who is um, having some peaches. Sadie, you can cover it up. Can you do the part where you put the blanket on it? Here. Dad, get my let, Let's let Sadie do this part. Okay, so here's my job. Here's my job. I put the napkin over it. I spent the money on a legit claw foot tub drain kit um, and it's really shiny um, and ended up looking really nice. Goes right through the floor into the cellar where it hooks up to the septic. So this is the water heater that we chose. It's an on-demand propane water heater from uh, EcoTemp, EcoTemp, I don't know how you say it. Anyway, it's, um, they're really affordable. Um, this one was uh, between four and five hundred dollars. So compared to the higher end um, uh, instant wa uh, water heaters, it's really a pretty easy choice for us. And they make a propane model, which is perfect for us off-grid. So far, we're just hauling tanks and being conservative about how we use it. Um, but uh, it really just made a whole lot of sense for us. So I had plumbed the house with propane um, to our stove, to where our fridge might go, to where the second water heater for the floor might go. And this is where propane comes out, the wall for um, for this device. So here we are up in my uh, little utility loft. Um, here is our yet to be finished uh, AC panel. No need for it to be finished right now because we have no way of providing it power. Eventually we'll have uh, a larger inverter and battery bank that is able to um, provide power to that. That goes to all of our lighting and our outlets um, but for the temporary setup I have two deep cell batteries uh, connected um, in parallel so it's a 12 volt system and I have a little thousand watt inverter and all that that inverter is powering is that water heater um, and then that orange cord back there, that is coming from the switch which powers the water pump. So we charge these batteries with um, just an auto charger um, running off of a generator. The mad scientist at work in his laboratory. Many a storm and rain shall blow, till Jack comes home.